Hi viewers, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. This is Seema Dudley, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Application, Don Bosco College, Kotium. This is my ninth video on the topic Data Analytics. In this video, we will discuss about the wider variety of data used in data analytics. That is about structured, unstructured and semi-structured data. And also at the end, we will discuss about is data analytics creates a competitive advantage for the enterprises. The variety of data sources continues to increase. Traditionally, internally focused operational systems such as ERP and CRM applications were the major source of data used in analytics processing and in order to increase the knowledge and awareness the data sources that feed into the analytics process is rapidly growing and uh, we use a wider variety of data sources the wider variety of data sources are internet data that is the data from the social media the next is a primary research that is the data from the surveys, experiments, observations, etc. And next, the data from secondary research, that is the data from industry reports, consumer data, business data, etc. Next data is from the location data, that is the mobile device data, etc. Next is the image data, that is the information from video, satellite image, etc next is the data from supply chain data and the last one is the device data that is the data from the sensors and such devices we know that uh, the structured data is a kind of data which is easy to define store and analyze but the unstructured data is not the type of data which is easy to define, store and analyze. It, it takes a lot of storage capacity and also it is difficult to analyze. And in unstructured data, there will be no any uh, specified model. And also it will not fit into a relational database. But this unstructured data will be containing dates, numbers and facts. So unstructured data is also important in data analytics process. The semi-structured data is an information that does not reside in a relational database. But it have some organizational properties that make it easier to analyze. And with some process, we can store this semi-structured data in the relational database. So the term semi-structured data is used to describe structured data that does not fit into a formal structure of data model. Next is the unstructured data in data analytics. We know the amount of data is doubling every two years and our world is becoming more transparent. And the new data generated is unstructured. Specifically, unstructured data represent almost 95% of new data while the structured data represents only 5%. So we cannot avoid unstructured data in data analytics. We have checked how structured, unstructured and semi-structured data used in big data analytics. Now we can check is big data analytics worth the effort. Here are some of the points that support big data analytics. First one is use of big data analytics creates a competitive advantage for the enterprises. Second is, it capitalizes on new technology capabilities 
and it leverage your existing technology assets and the third one is it enable the appropriate organizational changes that is adoption of new technologies and uh, uniting people from multiple discipline into single multidisciplinary team and the last one is it deliver faster and superior results for uh, facing the increasing rate of change that is occurring in the global marketplace two assignment questions uh, connected to this topic is first one is differentiate between structured unstructured and semi structured data second question is is big data analytics worth the effort write the question and answers in your notebook and send it in the whatsapp group thank you